Between swallows, the muscles of the esophagus are relaxed except for those of the sphincters. The lower esophageal sphincter remains close due to the unique property of the muscle and relaxes when swallowing is initiated. Transient lower esophageal sphincter relaxations are part of normal physiology, but occur more frequently in gastroesophageal reflux disease patients. Small amounts of gastroesophageal reflux are normal. The lower esophageal sphincter in the distal esophagus is in a state of tonic contraction and relaxes transiently to allow the passage of a food bolus. Sphincter pressure also increases in response to rises in intra-abdominal and intragastric pressures. Other anti-reflux mechanisms involve the intra-abdominal segment of the esophagus which acts as a flap valve. In addition, the mucosal rosette formed by folds of the gastric mucosa and the contraction of the crural diaphragm at the lower esophageal sphincter acting like a pinch cock, prevent acid reflux. A large hiatal hernia can impair this mechanism. The esophagus is also normally rapidly cleared of refluxate by secondary peristalsis, gravity and salivary bicarbonate. The clinical features of reflux occur when the anti-reflux mechanisms fail, allowing acidic gastric contents to make prolonged contact with the lower esophageal mucosa. The sphincter relaxes transiently independently of a swallow after meals and this is the cause of almost all reflux in normals and about two-thirds in gastroesophageal reflux disease patients. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.